Hey doctor, this is Hart. I am currently in Dallas airport and just wanted to say that I miss you a lot. It's only been a couple hours since I said bye to you, but I thought I'd start getting this video underway. While I'm here traveling through the airports, I figured it was fitting if I did a top five video of things to do when traveling or going through the airport. Starting with number one, always sleep as much as you can on each and every airplane. I find that nothing passes time nearly as quickly as being unconscious. So I just arrived in Kenya last night and I got a night's sleep and I'm finally here in the morning. Tip number two for long distance travel. Let's travel that lasts more than 20 some hours. Watch as many movies as you can, but don't watch them back to back. What I mean by this is don't watch action followed by action followed by action. Instead, you'll get burnt out on the genre. Try something new each and every time. Uh, what I did this last time was I watched a comedy to kind of get start, things started off lightheartedly, and then I moved to a drama or an action or something a little more serious, and then would move more into the lighthearted thing so that I continually was ebbing and flowing between happiness and more genuine thought between the times that I fell asleep. Tip number three, make sure you're on good terms with the people who are going to sit next to you. More often than not on my flights, I'm stuck next to them for eight, nine, ten hours. And to have somebody antagonistic that's next to you is never fun. Especially if you end up in a lost-like situation where you have to survive and everything's kind of going kaput. Tip number four for traveling overseas. Dealing with jet lag can be a difficult thing for a lot of people. So what I found is that you get a good night's sleep the night that you land, and as soon as you wake up in the morning, whether it be four in the morning or eight, nine in the morning, you make sure that you're on your feet or nearly constantly active until nine o'clock the next day. At least that's the goal that I set for myself. That way, I know that I can fall asleep that night and hopefully get the best night's sleep the following day. Now that's something you need to continue for the rest of the week, at least five days, so that you can continue and get into that rhythm. Tip number five, my final point. When traveling overseas or to other countries, often you deal with food and bacteria that you are not used to. And so you will probably, more than likely, get diarrhea or upset stomachs. Now I'm no doctor or physician, but one of the things that I like to do is I like to eat as much food from the area itself. That way I'm taking in as many of that foreign bacteria as possible and then giving my body the opportunity to accommodate to it. I know that this isn't the safest solution, but it's certainly what I enjoy doing. Plus, the food is spectacular. Doctor, knowing that you travel a lot, I know this tip list is entirely superfluous, but I thought you'd enjoy it anyway. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.